Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're heading back inside of Disney's California Adventure Park to try a few new food items that we haven't gotten a chance to try quite yet. We will be talking about some D23 announcements in regards to new rides that will be hitting this area of the resort, as well as taking a look at some Halloween decorations that have popped up around since the last time we were here. And also take a look at what new merchandise has recently released here at DCA. It's all in this video and much more, so stay tuned. But before we get started with today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. So let's get started. Starting our video off here in the Esplanade, let us know down in the comment section below, is this the very first time they actually added a pumpkin for the O in California? I have not seen that if they have done that in the past and I think that's really neat looking, but it's time to go on inside. Just arrived inside of Buena Vista Street and it is about 83 degrees. It's almost 12 o'clock. But one really important thing that just happened is all of the purple banners for the Halloween time season here at Disney California Adventure Park have finally arrived and it looks so fun and spooky. This is definitely getting us ready for next Friday. It's something we're so excited to experience. Again, DCA, I feel like is kind of king of Halloween. Maybe there's just, you know, Cars Land and I feel like that's a little bit more spooky. What do you think? Raylani goes, Mom, can you believe that? The bats everywhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to head inside Five and Dime and see what new merchandise we can find today. Here in the Halloween section, it looks like everything's just about the same. So if you guys are interested in seeing what is out for this year, make sure you check out our video but not really seeing anything else. There's supposed to be a few more waves of merchandise that should be coming through here, the Emporium and World of Disney. So we'll catch that when it comes in. As far as the Sanderson Sisters collection, it looks like Shop Disney got a lot of this stuff. So if you guys are looking for it, check online. There's going to be a little bit more merchandise hitting the parks here soon. For $69.99, it looks like we got this new Haunted Mansion blazer, which feels really cool. But again, I don't know who's gonna be wearing this with this weather. <laughs> but it looks like at the moment there's just medium and extra large. So if this is something you're looking for, make sure you keep your eyes peeled. It looks like there's a few new jewelry pieces for Nightmare Before Christmas. Looks like we have Zero with a jack skull on the top. We also have some of these really cute looking earrings and this necklace. And each one of these pretty much is color based. So not too sure on the pricing but I'm assuming it could be anywhere between $9.99 and $14.99. And for $34.99, looks like we have an Oogie Boogie candle holder, which doesn't look too bad. It's pretty nice. I guess this is where you can insert your candle. It has kind of like these little specks inside of the white. We have some bats, and then we have Oogie Boogie up here. And it also looks like the Disney lasers from D23 have made their way over here also inside of five and dime now these weren't really selling too well at d23 so i'm assuming they'll probably hit the cast store soon and what's crazy about this one is it said it was supposed to be exclusive to d23 and yet it is inside of this store just came across this i haven't seen it before i love zerg i mean i love toy story but for 39.99 it looks like we have this light up projection game I think it'd be kind of cool just because it reminds me of the, what is it? Um, I was going to say Astral Orbiters. No, the uh, Buzz Lightyear ride. Man, I'm drawing a blank. At uh, Disneyland. And it looks like you get like the blaster and you could hit Zerg. So I just found the pricing for all of those earrings and necklaces. I also wanted to show the bubble bar things that just recently released. So we got like a spooky Mickey. And I think the ones on the bottom, these are just normal jack lanterns with like a puff print. And these are also inside of Five and Dime. For $44.99, it looks like we have a glow-in-the-dark stitch crew neck. I have not pointed this out. I don't even think I've seen it, but I know it's been here at the park. This looks really neat. So if your little ones want something, I mean, again, it's pretty hot to be wearing something like this, but it is inside the store as well. And again, there's plenty of the Mickey's Pumpkin Patch merchandise inside all stores here at Disney California Adventure Park and pretty much at Disneyland. So if any of this stuff you guys want, it's gonna be here. Again, I think the most coolest item besides the ears would definitely have to be like the shirts. Everything for this year just looks so cool. And of course we finally got the Crocs. 
It also looks like this store got a restock of the Mickey jack o lanterns and these will run you $79.99. So if it is something that you want to get, make sure you pick it up because they do tend to sell out pretty fast. Raylani and I are on the hunt for our treat, so let's find a delicious treat for her today. Okay, Miss Raylani, what did you pick today? Gummies. Gummies, and what kind of gummies? They're all like, um... Grogu frogs. Grogu frogs. We'll see if they're tasty or not, okay? They're all like, <laughs> The frogs are open. Take a smell, Raylani. What does that smell like? What does it smell like? It smells like apple. Like apple? Is that what you think it is? Yeah. All right, let's see you eat a real life frog. Is it tasty? <laughs> Do you think that's why Grogu eats them? Yeah. yeah? Is it your favorite candy you've ever had? <laughs> so I myself am not really a gummy person, but if I had to choose a gummy candy, those frogs are very tasty. So I see why she picked them out. They're very good, right? Do you give it a thumbs up? All right. <laughs> You guys, I have always been the person to say, look up, you never know what you're going to find. We are outside of the Eliason Arcade, basically where the trolley treats is at. And there's these like dinosaur, gargoyle, figment looking things. What are these? I want to know the history behind this. Also, there's also some secret detail right here on top of Clarabelle's. There is like a coffee machine. There is a ice cream soft serve and like a banana split sundae. This doesn't even do justice to it. I'll see if Henry can get better quality, but I just thought that was such a neat thing to see. Okay, you guys, I am on a solo mission. Henry thinks that I'm gonna go look at some like merchandise or jewelry inside of Elias & Co, but I'm actually on a secret mission and I'll tell you once I'm inside. This is what I came in here for. This is my secret mission. I have been in communication with some of our amazing patrons, Ben and Quinn. They want to gift Henry this shirt that he like has no idea about and it's going to make him so, so excited. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't know the magic you're about to spread to him. And again, just thank you guys. You're going to see the giant smile he has. The bag is secured. Let's go make one guy very, very happy today. For you. Oh. What? Yeah, it's from Ben and Quinn, our patrons. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that oh smile. That's so cool. Well, thank you guys. That's awesome. <laughs> I, this is all I wanted to do. <laughs> wow, Ben and Quinn, thank you guys so much for doing that. Um, I definitely probably wouldn't have got that for myself, so I appreciate it very much. Um, and lately, you know, I've been just trying to make sure, you know, Nicole and Raylani are good just because we've pointed out before um, our personal business and usually we never talk about it here on this channel, but we've lost about like 80% of our business just during the times right now. And I just try to make them happy just because, you know, family and you want to make sure everyone else is good but yourself. But like that truly, I really appreciate that. Um, that means a lot. Um, I'm at a loss for words, but thank you guys very much. A little bit further down Buena Vista Street, it also looks like Carthay Circle has finally gotten their bats looking really spooky. And right next to Carthay Circle, it looks like the spooky pumpkins have also arrived on the top. So again, if you guys are coming for the Halloween time season here at DCA, make sure you look up as you don't want to miss some of these fun decorations. <laughs> Donald! <laughs> We met Donald, as Raylani just said. It was really fun to catch up. There have been so many characters out here on Buena Vista Street, which is really fun for us to see as, you know, sometimes we don't get to stop and do the little things, but we even got to see an exclusive character, which was Horace, so that was really fun. He was very sweet and goofy, so yeah, just a little bonus on busier days. They tend to bring out the more exclusive characters. And even with it being slightly busy, it actually doesn't seem too bad. It's actually really nice and peaceful. The crowds are semi down. I think everyone's kind of dispersed around the park having fun. I think now we're gonna head over into San Francisco Square. I'm assuming get free bread for Reilani and then head over to Ant Cast Cafe and try a new food item that we haven't had quite yet. 
Here at the Golden Vine House, it looks like Mickey is covered up. So this is actually that magic band area that we pointed out in our previous video that you can interact with Mickey, but he must be visiting with some other friends right now. Also here at Fillmore's, it looks like these spooky cylinder containers. I forget what these containers are called. I'm just calling them cylinder containers, but they do have their faces on it and each one looks slightly different, which is really fun also for the Halloween time season. Of course, we're here doing what our family loves best, getting her free bread. Raylani got her free bread. And now, what? what is this? It's true or false. Oh, so. okay. Pretty neat. Look at, you see all the breads in there? So from Ann Cass Cafe, we have the California roll sandwich. This sounds very interesting. This has a shrimp and crab salad. It has yakisoba dressing on top. It also has some furikake and seaweed salad on a milk bread bun. I'm not sure if this is up my alley or not because I love sushi, but it's now in sandwich form. So let's see what the true verdict is. I'm so scared. <laughs> All right, cheers. This is very messy, so sorry. I know that last shot was not pretty, but honestly, I think I am a fan of this. I was really hesitant because I would not think to put crab salad and shrimp on a bread, but I guess it's like a tuna sandwich. Um, I also forgot to mention there is some wasabi paste in here or wasabi spice. Um, not too crazy, not too overwhelming. Overall, the flowers come together. The flowers. Overall, the flavors come together very nicely. And I'm actually not a big fan of seaweed salad, but on this sandwich, I don't mind it. I think I'm gonna give this like a 4.7, almost a five. Raylani, how are your chips? Are they good? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I feel like I have all this stuff in my teeth, but I did want to say that that sandwich is like refreshing or just a fresh option. As weird as that sounds, probably the bread would make it less like of a fresher option but it's just very nice on this hot day. So I don't know, I, I I was like totally against trying it. I was like, no, 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 I would not want to eat that on the sandwich, but it was very, very good. I think Henry and I would get this again while it's still here for the season. And if you guys didn't know, they actually sell fresh baked bread here. Looks like we have Baymax, we have Mickey, and some other options, but stay tuned for Halloween. They tend to have a vampire Mickey as well. Guys, Raylani loves Boudin so much. Like, I think she should have a sponsorship with him. So if anybody knows some higher ups that can get Raylani her free bread, we would probably appreciate that. <laughs> Truly, I love San Francisco Square. I love like all the fun and cool decorations they have all out through this entire area. And of course, coming through these amazing, would these be considered the arches? Yes, I don't know. We just gotta go to the real San Francisco so you can experience it. Oh, definitely. <laughs> right as you cross through the Golden Gate Bridge, well, I guess it's not the Golden Gate Bridge, right? It's the San Francisco Bridge. We have these beautiful looking flowers. We just love to kind of like take the time to look around. They just have some really cool looking plants. And this one really stands out to us as well. Raylani really wants to jump on the Little Mermaid. So let's go. We just got done with Ariel's Undersea Adventure and what a great ride that is just to enjoy as a family. I know Henry and I used to go all the time even before we had Raylani, 
Most people typically go for the AC because it is usually cold and breezy in there, but we actually just truly enjoy the storyline. I get to see one of my favorite hidden Mickeys, which is on the frogs that I feel most people overlook. So if you've never been, make sure you check it out and you go say hi to one of your favorite villains, Ursula. Let me see, how do you give daddy a froggy? Does it jump and go rub it? Let's see. I think they're all stuck together from the heat. Let's see it jump. Jump, jump froggy. Uh, right again. <laughs> it's jumping. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Truly guys, we've been here for probably about an hour, hour and a half. We've actually met a lot of you guys. So again, thank you so much for your support. We have one more big thing to cover before we kind of start to wrap up the video. And that's gonna lead us over to Paradise Garden Grill. Also, for those of you who like to know rides I've never been on, here is yet another one. Goofy Sky School. I swear I have to do like a video of like going on all the rides I've never been on just because I think now there's about a handful. So stay tuned for that video. Now we've made our way back over here by Paradise Garden Grill. One big thing we want to talk about is at D23 this year, it was announced that there's going to be a Coco themed ride. We are so excited for that ride to be hitting the parks. Still no update on the exact date when that's going to happen but more than likely it's gonna be back in this area. It's gonna be really exciting as just like the cover art for it looks quite incredible. It's gonna be a lot of vibrant colors. I could imagine this ride is gonna be a very highly attractive ride for all guests to come over here. So again, we'll keep you guys updated as we get more information. And we're just kind of trying to figure out where this is actually gonna be. If this is gonna be a part of the Disney forward or if they're gonna be able to kind of eliminate some things to make this attraction. But nonetheless, we are very excited for it. It's been a while since I've made my way over to this back area next to the Golden Zephyr. Makes for a wonderful and peaceful spot here at the park. Again, it's actually not too bad. So if you guys ever wanna kinda of come over here and get some shade and just kinda of look at the beautiful sights of Disney California Adventure Park, this would be your place to do it. It would be nice if we could plop ourselves a beach towel right here and just chill, right? I mean, who would wanna go in the water though? <laughs> it might be a little bit gross, but this is a nice area of the park. And those who are coming for Oogie Boogie Bash, it looks like the transformation spell slash life potion book is back again for another fun photo op. So keep that in mind if you are coming for Oogie Boogie Bash. If you guys have not heard or just don't know, here is your reminder to make sure you're staying hydrated while you're here at the park. Make sure you're drinking tons of water. Reapply sunblock. I just saw somebody walking and the poor thing, you could tell their legs were like red like a lobster. So if you're very first skin, make sure you, or even if you're not, just make sure you add your sunblock as it's gonna be so helpful for you later down the road. I feel like I'm doing much better, guys. Yesterday, I felt like I was complaining a little too much in the video about the weather, but you know what? I'm embracing it because we're here, we're making a good time of what we have at the parks, but it still is hot. I mean, I can't lie, um, but now we're gonna head over into Grizzly Peak area and see what updates we can find over there. It is now 100% confirmed. Bruno will be making his grand appearance once again. Now, Nicole and Raylani both loved him last year. He's so sweet. Um, if we have the picture, Raylani was like smiling so big. I couldn't film my interaction because my phone had died, but honestly, he was fantastic. So if you guys want to meet him, he's going to be over in this back area next to the Eureka by the Grizzly Peak entrance. As we're making our way a little bit further through Grizzly Peak area, it's also announced at D23 that the Avatar ride is going to be making its way over here to Disney California Adventure Park. I am beyond excited. I think that between all of the new things like the Avengers Campus rides, the Coco ride, um, the Mandalorian turnover for Smuggler's Run, I personally am so excited for Avatar. But it's also like, where's it gonna be? Some people have said it might be in Hollywood Studios area, it might be here in Grizzly Peak. Is it gonna be a part of the Disney Forward, which would mean it's gonna be in a whole new place here at the resort. I guess we'll see. Trying to figure out where this is gonna be, it's gonna be quite crazy. Hopefully we get more updates as I am like beyond thrilled to actually go on the Avatar ride. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for those updates. Also another big area that might be where Avatar is gonna be. Again, there's pretty much just all rumors at this point. Could it be where Soren's at? Now hear me out, as much as we don't want this ride to be gone because it is a fan favorite, could this also be an area where they decide to do, say the Avatar Soren ride that's in Walt Disney World? I'm not too sure the exact name. But again, this is a huge lay of land. 
but a little bit of me thinks it might also be in Hollywood Studios just because of those two big stages that are kind of empty. Now I know they've used them for like merchandising and stuff in the past, but again, those are just huge warehouses that tend to not really be used much, or at least us as the general public doesn't really see them used. So that could very well be where it's gonna be at. But again, just with the concept art of the lay of the land, who knows? But again, I am just so thrilled. Maybe I just wanna keep talking about the Avatar stuff because I love Avatar. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, um, but I'm just so excited and eager for it to show up. Now it's time to head inside Hollywood Studios. And it looks like they're getting a little bit spooky over here too. This is so exciting to see. I love the purple banners each time. I know, it looks so cool at night with all the lights. That's my favorite time to come. And just like that, Animation Academy is back up and running. We're ready to see Oogie Boogie next Sunday inside of here. We got a fun little shake from Schmoozy. So this is gonna be the Strawberry Shortcake Mini Shake. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. So this is gonna be a strawberry blended milkshake that has blended cookie, um, the Oreo here into the drink, as well as some strawberry glaze throughout and the mini bow and some whipped cream. So let's dig right on it. Mm -hmm. It's a very good shake, I can't complain. It just tastes like a really good strawberry shortcake. I do think I got bits of the cookie as I was drinking it. Um, but now that it's hot, it's gonna melt down really quickly. So we really gotta finish this off fast. And while we're trying the shake, it looks like Raylani's playing with all the fun goodies. Which one's your favorite, Raylani? Um, Which one? Which one's your favorite? Strawberry. The strawberry, strawberry, of course, like Lotso. <laughs> yeah. Or like this shake. That's true. <laughs> Check this out, guys. I'm wearing the ears. Raylani didn't want to wear them, so I was like, well, I don't want to throw them on the bottom of the stroller. So I figured I'd put them on. And these aren't too bad. Kind of like them. You guys all know we don't park hop, but we had to come over here. It looks like we got Mickey dressed up with his mask. Finally, all this week, we did not see it, but he is here now and he's got his mask on. So that's a quick bonus, just because we usually don't park hop in our videos. All right, everyone. So we're gonna pretty much wrap up this video here. We just wanna say a big thank you to all of you guys again for helping us almost achieve 16,000 subscribers here on this channel. We truly appreciate it. And a big shout out to our Patreon members, Quinn and Ben. Thank you so much again for the shirt. Truly appreciate it. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.